going on out there guys today we are going to be talking about uh, comparing like a Hawkeye boroscope to something uh, like a actual orthoscope um, you know I mean it, the words could probably be defined differently uh, boroscope the actual definition is to uh, look at the inside um, internals through a small hole so even these could be considered a boroscope um, but when you're considering that they're medical grade, uh, I think it changes terms over to orthoscope, but don't quote me on that. Um, I just want to talk about some of the differences. First of all, you're going to notice the Hawkeye here um, has this for the light opening. If you can kind of see that, that hole in the bottom, uh, that's where the fiber optics or the optics are going to, that's where you'd put your light source and then that would travel down the tube. Uh, you would notice that um, the one on the this orthoscope, I'm going to refer to this as orthoscope simply so we're defining the two differences here, um, is a lot bigger. Uh, so it's going to allow a lot more light to go down there and um, and uh, illuminate the uh, what you're seeing. The other thing is this boroscope is going to, the Hawkeye boroscope is going to view straight. You can see here, if I can hold this stuff still. Um, So that's going to view straight, and you can see the angle on the orthoscope uh, where it's going to give you a 30 degree view. Uh, so when you're choosing what you want to buy here, uh, starting out with a, with a good quality boroscope like Hawkeye is going to be a great investment for you. Uh, it's, going to be, uh, it's going to cost a little bit less, um, but you're going to be able to get more options. You're going to get the scope, and then you're going to get like the 90 degree mirror. So it's going to give you more options. Uh, whereas if you buy these scopes, in order to get the same range of view, I would have to have an, I have to have two. I have to have a 30 degree right here, and I have to have a 70 degree uh, right here. You can turn that around uh, to kind of to kind of match what we've got here. Um, so those are some things to keep in mind, and you need two separate complete units with these because the main difference is is that when you're looking through these, it's much much more clear than it is to be looking through the mirror. Uh, the mirror is really the big downfall on this. If you can keep the mirror clean, you get pretty good view. Uh, but you'll see, we'll do a test here in just a minute, and and you'll be able to see the difference on what it's going to look like with and without the mirror uh, on some on some different test subjects here. So. Uh, just hang out with me, and um, we'll we'll go ahead and put these on the scope. Uh, the The camera is going to be the uh, limiting factor on this, so I'm going to try and show the differences, but it's not going to even be 50% as clear as you would be able to see with the naked eye, as opposed to looking through the camera. Number one, because I'm trying to demonstrate it, I can't explain it without showing it, so I need to show it and put it on film. The only way to do that is to have a coupler piece that goes over and so then I can film through that, but the film and expanding that is going to distort the, the uh, view. So don't take this as what you're going to see exactly through there. Just be able to notice what you're going to see as far as differences between the two. Um, so let's check it out here. We'll go ahead and pause and come back. All right, so here we are with the scope mounted on. Uh, I'm going to show you, so you can see. Like you can see pretty clear right here, but it's not very big. So we need to go ahead and expand that so we can see, and you can see how it instantly starts to distort. Um, but that's just, that's the only option that we've got right now. I'll try and do both as we go. Um, and so this is going to be the Hawkeye Boroscope, okay? So we'll check out what this looks like on a $20 bill. Um, you know, we'll come into some of the more fine details. We'll come into like the hair here. And as you get closer, you can really start to see the detail. And just imagine that this is going to be about 50% clearer uh, with the naked eye. So I'm going to shrink it all the way down, and you can kind of see so we don't get quite so much distortion on there. And this is without the light source. This is just actually just looking right through without the light source. The light source is going to be too bright for this. So you get an idea of what we're looking at and how that detail comes out. Uh, a couple other things that we can look at is we've got a safe lock over here. You can see the detail and the finish 
and the brass. Got those VD stamps. LH, spindle. And you can really see what we're looking at and how that detail comes into focus. And again, I'll go ahead and shrink it back down. And you can see how that detail comes out a little bit more when we don't have it zoomed in so far. Okay. And we can even come over here and look at this knife blade. You can really begin to see the edge here, all the scratches and things on there. the detail in the handle and then we'll go ahead and expand that out and show you again what that's going to be looking like through there also we've got a key you can kind of see what we've got with this key what that's going to look like and then what it's going to look like with that Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to slide the mirror on. And then this is actually, let's take a look. Before we do that, we're going to take one look through here, and I'm actually going to have a spot where I need to add the light source. We're actually going to look down the barrel of this. see that we'd have just a 22 caliber uh, rifle here there's a chamber nothing too exciting nothing in there obviously um, and then we can actually come down the barrel here and take a look and you can see that light source streams all the way to the bottom nice and clear you can see all that rifling in there and we can come down and then we're going to go ahead and expand that out. And you can see what that looks like in there. And then that's where it's going to be too bright. You can see if we come and look at some of this stuff with that light source on there, it's just too bright to actually see anything. So that's why we turned it out. That's with it out. Okay, so that's the Hawkeye. Um, what I'm going to do now is is I'm going to switch over to the uh, orthoscopes here, and then, or actually, no, we need to look through the 90 degree here. I'm sorry, we do need to look through that 90 degree, and we're going to look through all this stuff here again. We're going to look down here. You'll be able to see now what we're seeing. Okay, as we come into that, that's going to come down and we're going to be looking through the mirror. And as I spin, this is what we're going to be looking at. But this is where looking in that mirror uh, kind of becomes the, the weak spot of this, um, so to speak. But it definitely <clears throat> does give you the, the view and it allows you to see what you're, what you're looking at. So if we came down this barrel and we saw a bad spot, that's when we would put the 90 degree mirror on. And uh, we could then come in here for a, uh, a closer look around all this. So if we needed to look at a specific spot here, you can kind of see what that's doing and what that's looking like as we pull that out. But you can see how much difference is, even with this camera being distorted, uh, what the view looks like over to the right um, and then looking at it through the mirror. And I'll go ahead and shrink that down. I don't know how much we're going to be able to see with that. In there. Then we'll go ahead and look at a few other things here. Uh, here's our $20 bill. We need to go ahead and turn the light source out for that. So just take it off. you'll be able to see that we can definitely see we're still looking through that 90 degree lens 
and you can definitely see the detail um, but it is definitely a little bit different than it was before so let's see we'll get right in there and zoom right in notice that we're looking at it upside down as well if we pull this out We are actually looking at it in this direction right here. So we'll go ahead and put this back in here so I can show you what it looks like on a few other things. And uh, then we'll go from there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our uh, safe lock over here. See the case and that. All nice and pretty. You can still make it out and see it for sure. Wheels, change key hole, all kinds of stuff. So it doesn't matter which angle we're coming at. If we're coming in straight, you'd be able to come in here and see what's going on. And I'll go ahead and shrink that up so you can go ahead and see what it looks like from out here without the, uh, the high zoom. Okay, we'll look at a couple more things. We got our key. Zoom it open. And our knife blade here. And we'll shrink it back down. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to our uh, orthoscopes here. Okay, so the first one we're going to be looking at is the 30 degree orthoscope. And we're going to come right back to the money over here. And we'll just kind of show you what we've got. Actually, I need to turn this around a little bit so I can get a better. That's better. Maybe that's not better. Now that we got that lined up in there, we'll come in here and you can see the difference that we're going to see with this. Now, mind you, it's not going to be perfectly straight, but I am holding this at a straight angle. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.